all numbers have an absolute value. The absolute value of a number is its distance from zero. To find the absolute value of a number, let's look at where they fall on the number line. Negative five is five spaces from zero, so it would have an absolute value of five. Positive five is also five spaces from zero, so it would also have an absolute value of positive five. The absolute value of a number is written without a positive or a negative sign since it just describes the distance from zero, not the direction from zero as well. To symbolize the words, find the absolute value, we put bars on either side of your number. On your computer, that key is usually located on the far right side of your keyboard with the backslash. Instead of writing out the words, find the absolute value, we can simply put the bars on either side of the number and it would have the same meaning. All numbers and their opposites are going to have the same absolute value. Positive three and negative three are both located three places from zero. So both my positive three and my negative three are going to have an absolute value of three. We can also reverse the question and ask which numbers have a specific absolute value. For example, we could ask which numbers have an absolute value of four. This would have two solutions. Positive four would be four places from zero and negative four would be four places from zero. So the values that have an absolute value of four would be the number and its opposite. All numbers have an absolute value. If I wanted to find the absolute value of positive 5 tenths, it would simply be 5 tenths because it's half a unit away from zero. The same thing with negatives. The absolute value of negative 2 thirds would simply be 2 thirds because it's 2 thirds of a unit away from zero. If I don't have a sign in front of my value, I'm going to assume it's positive. But either way, the absolute value of one and a half is still one and a half because it's one and a half units from zero. Even zero has an absolute value because we're describing its distance from zero. The absolute value of zero would still be zero because it's zero units away from zero. No matter what number we're finding the absolute value of, there's no sign in front of it. Absolute values are not positive or negative. They simply describe the distance from zero, not which direction you're going from zero.